Hello everyone! Thank you for clicking that link and joining me again today. I am so glad you did. And did you do something with your with your hair? Because you're looking fabulous today. Today I wanted to take an opportunity to kind of bring you guys up to speed with what I'm doing now differently in my my diet, kind of. Not really my diet, my brain. Um, because I had at some point I think experienced a binge, like an actual full-on binge. And I think it was because I hadn't slept for more than five hours a night during that week. And whatever it was, even if it wasn't really, really a binge, it scared me. And it scared me enough that I, I started looking for a therapist. Um, because that was always my fallback plan. If I couldn't lose this weight, that I would I would find a therapist to figure out what's going on in my brain. And none of the ones up here that I dis that I discovered were number one taking in in person appointments. Um, and none of them really kind of jived with me. Um, I didn't. I, I'm sure they're fabulous people, but they didn't really speak to me. So. And I mean, speak to me as in, you know, I, oh, I totally want to see this person. And then I got scared that they would be haze and I didn't, we don't do haze here. So I don't believe that you can be healthy at any size, maybe for a short time, but not forever. And I think I did a video on that. Anyway, so I stumbled on to CBT, which is um, Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, which is basically, as I understand it, not an expert, but trying to retrain my brain to not have my self-sabotaging -sab thoughts. So that being said, I stumbled onto the Beck Diet. Yes, 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 that one, the Beck Diet from the 90s that I don't think anyone even knows about anymore. I tried to find a couple of, you know, some YouTubers that were doing it and the ones that I found were kind of failing at it. So hopefully it works. I think it does, but it's a lot of paperwork, so to speak. So, but we'll, we'll dig into it here. Um, do, 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 do. And my notes are out of order, so this video has gotten out of order every time I've tried to film it. This is not the first version, so. With the Beck Diet, you have a couple of things that you need to do. Like I had mentioned this way back in like my first video that you have to write down your reasons why you want to lose weight. And that these are the reasons that kick you in the feels. You know, my big one is I want to walk unaided when I'm 70. I don't want to have to have a walker. I don't want to be in a wheelchair. But from that... <laughs> came the, the, this is the main one for me. The main reason I want to lose weight is I want to make it to 70. I want to enjoy my house, you know, that isn't done yet, you know, and if I'm overweight and unhealthy, I'm going to die sooner. So I'm not going to enjoy the house longer. So you, you create these, these reasons that you want to lose weight. I, I say you do five I, th I think that's a reasonable number, but the Beck diet also says you do this. Um, and then the other thing is worth it memories, which I would call a non-scale victory. So anytime you have a non-scale victory, which could be fitting into a chair at the office that you couldn't fit into before, or like suddenly my rings are fitting again, or, um, you know, one of mine is I no longer look like Roz from Monsters, Inc. My double chin is going away. Um, so any of those kind of things, oh, one, my first one is colleagues at work noticed that I had lost weight and complimented me on my progress. So you write those down. And when you're down in the dumps and you're like, this isn't worth it, I don't want to do this anymore, you go and you read those, those, um, worth it memories again. And I like to think about them and replay them in my mind as they happened and, and feel the feelings that I felt at the time, which is probably what you're supposed to do. And then you have reminder cards, which I think is the meat and potatoes of this, um, because the reminder cards, hang on. The reminder cards are to me, 
combating your self-sabotaging thoughts. So one of my big self-sabotaging thoughts is, oh, it doesn't matter if I get there slower. To which, you know, therefore I can eat this thing. To which my, you know, helpful thought is, um, every time matters. And this is part of the Beck diet too, is every time matters because you're either strengthening your resist or your relent. And the way they say it in the Beck diet is you're strengthening your resist muscle or your um, giving in muscle. And that's true. Um, if you go explore like other therapists, I think Jordan Peterson even has something on this where every time you give in, it's easier to give in. So, you know, progressively easier and easier and easier. And you end up falling down that hole where you're no longer on your diet and you're no longer losing weight. So you strengthen your resist muscle. So when, you know, something happens, you can resist eating. Um, Another one for me is I call it the weekend dumpster fire because part of my problem is weekend eating, you know, and I think a lot of people have problems with weekend eating. You want to go out and party and drink and do all these things. So my weekend dumpster fire card says something to the effect of um, to lose weight and maintain it. I need to eat like I, on the weekend like I do during the week. So, so these are just different cards. Like another big one for me is it's okay to eat this unplanned food to which the response is it is not okay to eat this unplanned food because this will often set off me overeating for the day. So it's these cards that combat that and you read them. Um, I read them at least once a day. Uh, when I first started, I was trying, I was making sure I read them three times a day and when I say cards, this is from back in the day when you didn't have a smartphone, so you wrote all this stuff down on three by five cards and carried them around with you, which I found an app on my phone, so I just have them in my phone, so I can, you know, any time that I would just stop and look at Facebook or some bullshit like that, I stop and I read a couple of cards, you know, and I think it really helps me because when I started this, I lost 10 pounds in that month, and I had been stuck at 190, so I dropped down to 180. So I'm excited about that. Um, another thing, you can kind of think of this almost like, you know how you meal prep for when you know you're not gonna have enough time to, to cook a meal or something like that. This is like meal prep, but for your brain. So you're kind of planning out these scenarios that you know you're gonna encounter. Like one of them is a food pusher. And I think we all know a food pusher in our lives. Somebody who's always like, here, have this, you know, do you want another beer? Do you want a cupcake? Do you want a cookie? Here, eat this thing. And you're just like, no, I don't. And you, I don't want it. I don't want it, but I can't say no. Well, this is how, you know, how do you combat that? So the first step on my, my card is I'm just going to say, no, thank you. 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 And if that doesn't work, if they don't accept, no, thank you, which eventually they will. But if I feel overwhelmed, I can just say, well, you know what? I feel like I'm having a little migraine coming on, so I'm not really hungry. My tummy's upset. So I'll just have a glass of water. And also with that one, you can leave early by saying your head hurts. So that's a good one. Um, even if you don't have migraines, you can lie. <laughs> um, uh, there was another one I was going to talk to, talk about, speak to, oh, 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 something that really helped me. And I've read several books. Um, so the Beck diet, I have the Beck diet workbook. I also got never binge again after I was scared that I had binged. And also I had already read, um, intuitive eating and I'm going to review that one at some point, but that one also helped me. So they probably don't like that, but yes, that one helped me lose weight. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, oh, so something that really helped me was coming up with food rules. And I know that is against intuitive eating altogether, but the Never Binge Again book wanted me to come up with a, a meal plan. And honestly, I don't let, no food is off limits. If I want to sit around and, you know, have ice cream or I want to eat mallow cream pumpkins or I want to do whatever, whatever, none of that is off limits to me. 
I don't feel that's acceptable. So what I did is I wrote down my food rules, um, which the first one is a schedule, and that is something from the Beck diet. I eat at these times. I do not eat outside of these times. I only eat at these times. So like my breakfast happens from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. And then my lunch is from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. So at some point during those times, I will eat. Um, and then I have a snack time, which is like 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. And then dinner is 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. or whatever. I don't, I, I mean, granted, if I'm out and about and I'm hungry and I haven't eaten, then I will probably buy like a pack of nuts or something. But I try very hard to, you know, make sure I only eat during those times. The other food rule I have is because I couldn't come up with a meal plan because nothing is off limits to me. Um, another food rule is I will always sit down and eat mindfully. So I will sit down and I will focus on the food and I will focus on the taste and the texture and why I enjoy it. And I don't eat while running around and being like, oh, I just need to eat something. <sighs> and because with me, I will then eat a ton of things because I never feel satiated uh, like I actually ate something. I just feel like I haven't eaten anything. So I got to eat more things because I didn't eat. And so if I sit down and mindfully eat something and, and focus on the taste and the texture and what I like about it and what's refreshing about it or whatever. That helps me not want to eat more. Um, another one is I will not eat after dinner. So I can have dinner and I'll have dessert if I have dessert, which I don't always, I used to always have dessert, but I don't anymore. Um, following, you know, I have dessert immediately following dinner, and then I do not eat after that for the remainder of the night, because what I would do historically was I would eat dinner, I'd have dessert, and then I'd get munchy, and I'd eat some other crap during the evening, which really didn't help me uh, maintain or lose weight, so that's another one of my food rules. So I highly Oh, and the Beck Diet also has like a checklist of things that you're supposed to do. So one of them is review your worth it memories. Another one is did you read your reminder cards? Another one is did you eat on schedule? Yes. Did you eat on plan? Um, I added one of did I get up on time because I was having a problem getting up on time to get my steps in because I usually get up an hour before work just to kind of <clears throat> get coffee and and well, not an hour before work, but you know what I mean. Well, yes, an hour before <laughs> because I work from home. So I can just roll out of my bed to my keyboard and start working, you know, so I would make a point of getting up an hour before work. That way I can get my coffee made and I can start my steps and I can get, you know, either like a third of my steps in before I even sit down and start working kind of thing. So this kind of regimented structure has really helped me. Um, I think that it's challenging. It would be challenging like for somebody like my roommate who just flies by the seat of her pants. It would be very challenging for her to follow this. Um, but I think that if you, if you can follow it, it's really helpful, you know, to retrain your mind to where you don't just eat, grab and eat every little thing. And at least I have found it extremely helpful, you know, that way I can combat my negative thought or my, you know, non-helpful thoughts, you know, with something more positive, you know, and I think it is leading me to be more successful. So we'll see. Um, oh, and there's a questionnaire, I think on the website, or you can Google it of in what type of eating scenarios you might. So you can focus on those. It will help you focus on, okay, well, I know that I'm good at eating a good about eating at home but if I go out with friends then I'm going to eat everything on the face of the planet kind of thing so I will leave the links down below I hope this wasn't too scatterbrained for you I tried to organize it into you know something reasonable and with that I believe in you and air hugs I will see you in the next video bye